synthetic rubber, chemical additives, and carbon black, a pigment. Giant blenders mix these ingredients under heat and tremendous pressure. There are various formulations for different parts of the tire. In each case, the result is gummy rubber dough, which machinery then rolls into sheets to await further kneading and processing. Polyester fabric unrolls into a machine called a calendar. The calendar is equipped with rollers that apply warm rubber to both sides of the fabric. This produces a rubberized fabric that will be used to reinforce the tire. This fabric ply is needed because rubber alone isn't sturdy enough to make a tire. Numerous cotton cords now spin off bobbins simultaneously. Machinery pulls them onto the warm rubberized fabric. They land on a bit of an angle and adhere. This cording creates channels that provide pathways for venting air during the actual tire building. Making rubber for tread requires three different rubber formulations. Extruders shape the three streams of rubber, and then they enter a die that forms them into one. Many paint rollers apply different colored stripes. It's a coating system for identification of the ingredients during processing. To avoid tension, the system creates slack in the feed.